Welcome back everyone to the Hello World Guide. This is episode number 8 of the Unreal Engine series and in today's video we are going to program a user interface, a HUD for our game, a heads up display. So basically a heads up display is kind of the things that you see on screen like a health bar etc. And a health bar is ex exactly what we are trying to make today. So uh, basically that is what a, it is, you know, mm, kind of uh, the HUD and we are going to learn how to do that. So yes, yeah, it's going to be an exciting video and without any delay let's get started <coughs> so the idea here is that uh, in order to actually you know have kind of like a a HUD system what you actually need is you so basically this is a heads up display so in order to do that you need to have a separate class called a heads up display which is uh, labeled as HUD so uh, what you need to do in, or, uh, in order to create that class all you need to do is you need to go under your blueprints folder and just right click and hit blueprint class and you can from the all classes uh, if you want to be above you need to go under all classes and then just search for HUD 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 and uh, if you do that you it should pop up and just click it and hit select and once you have done that just name it to something like game HUD uh, you can name it whatever you want but it won't uh, run automatically you need to open up the game mode the actual game mode and in here in the HUD class you need to select uh, your go on game HUD instead of the default HUD now uh, that should get our HUD up and running if I open up my HUD now uh, in the event graph I'm going to well <laughs> there's nothing I'm going to delete the empty node and in here what we need to do is we can mm, use a function called on draw an event called on draw so if I just go ahead and uh, like right click here and type in on draw uh, on draw uh, doesn't seem to be here uh, let me check okay on draw yeah that that means receive draw hard so you uh, sorry the event is event receive draw hard just add that and what this event is when this event is called it basically asking your heart to draw stuff to the screen and if you take that out and you go ahead and say something like uh, draw rectangle then this should automatically create a rectangle mm, and now basically the idea is that we have got a screen X and screen Y here as you can see and uh, we have got a screen width and which I'm going to set to 200 and a screen hi uh, height called 200 and this uh, screen X and Y uh, let me show you so you can see that this uh, we get a uh, black square on the top left corner the reason it's a top left corner it's because uh, you know in, in in the like Unreal Engine coordinate system it starts from the top left so that uh, we can also change the color here by the way and it starts from the top left and uh, basically like uh, it goes on the X axis like that and on the Y axis up and down so the X axis is like left and right and the Y axis is like up and down so that's the way this works and of course it's working now so anyways back in the game class I have uh, back in the game HUD class I have deleted everything we had in the event graph and now we are going to actually start getting some good looking UI instead of just drawing empty boxes. So in order to add good looking UI uh, you could like uh, you could technically draw it out in the HUD using shapes but uh, uh, the better way to do it is use something called widgets. Now how do these widgets work and how are we going to do that we will get to that in a second. Uh, by the way there are different ways of organizing widgets so uh, but uh, one way that so a widget is basically like something that is made up of a bunch of stuff in Unreal Engine and uh, mm, basically determines a good looking UI for your screen and it's got a bunch of parameters as well now there are basically two ways that uh, you uh, would create your uh, like widget layout one would be to just simply go ahead and uh, create one widget which basically holds all of the other widgets and that widget uh, one widget is the size of your screen the other way would be to add the widgets programmatically using HUD now as the as a beginner I would recommend the first uh, first uh, one to you for main, main screens that uh, should work fine you normally would uh, like your game gets more advanced you would need more hearts but uh, uh, more widgets but um, for now you can just add everything in one widget so how are we supposed to do that well uh, I'm going to go under so we have got content blueprints here I'm going to inside of my blueprint folder I'm going to create a new folder called UI I'm going to open that folder up I'm going to right click here create a new blueprint class uh, a blueprint class called uh, not actually blueprint class you can go under UI inside of here go under user interface and choose widget blueprint and in this blueprint just name it something like uh, main game UI and I'm going to open this up now this basically is a visual editor for your interface 
now uh, in here what we can do is we can uh, you can see that this screen basically consists of 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 basically consists of the top bar apart from that we have got this details panel to show us uh, everything we have selected then we have got this animation stuff in here you do not need to worry about that right now and we have got this hierarchy now this hierarchy basically represents everything we have got currently we have only got a canvas panel and we can see the details here and uh, nothing else so in order to add other stuff, you, you can go under this palette and you can choose other stuff here. For example, you can add a button. But what we want is we want a progress bar. So if this is a progress bar. It does not look quite like one, but it is a progress bar. And uh, you can see this is its anchor. Now anchors are basically kind of, because you know your screen may be different, so you can't put the position everything hard code or it will get problems because you want to have like uh, support screens of different sizes. So that's why you use anchors. Anchors basically there are different ones like um, uh, top uh, and middle and left and right, whatever. But uh, just leave it at the top left corner. I'm going to se uh, select this progress bar by clicking here. And I'm going to rename this in the hierarchy to health bar. Uh, health bar. Okay, that's awesome. And now we are, I'm going to go under position X and I'm going to set the position X to 100 and the position Y to 100 as well. Now, once you have done that, what you can do is you can change this size X to whatever you want. You can increase the size X mm, uh, to something like uh, uh, let's say 300 and I'm going to send the size Y to 80 uh, 80 maybe 60 uh, uh, yeah and th maybe this should be 400 and this should be 80 I guess now this basically is a progress bar now and if I select this progress bar you can see here we've got this style thing we don't need to worry about that go under the progress and you can see this percent now if I uh, select this and I drag to increase this you can see it kind of fills up the progress bar like it's supposed to and if I go under uh, if there are a bunch of other options here but if you go down under appearance you can change the color of this fill I'm going to set the color to be uh, greenish uh, that should make sense I guess uh, for uh, you know kind of for so I'm going to just set it to gr pure green and this makes sense for like you know a health bar and uh, green color looks awesome I'm going to by the way uh, change the X position to 50 and the Y position to 50 as well uh, it's a bit too much and this is uh, looking kind of really really awesome Mm, I'm going to increase the size a bit too. You can play around with these values and now you can see I can drag this person to fill it up to whatever I want. Now currently obviously we are not actually seeing this progress bar inside of our game. In order to do that we need to go under our game HUD, the HUD class and we need to write, uh, now you actually don't no need to do this inside of the HUD but uh, it's a good practice to actually do it inside of the HUD so we are going to keep it with the HUD. I'm going to go under the game HUD and I'm going to right click and go, go ahead and say uh, event begin play just add an event begin play here and then you can drag out from this and you can go ahead and say mm, add uh, so you can see basically create widget okay create widget now this basically is a function and it takes a class for the class just select your main game UI and uh, you don't need to provide it with anything else and it returns you with a widget now you can take this widget and you can go ahead and see add to player screen use this add to player screen function and that should add it to the player screen once you do that that should basically work uh, because uh, it should now be available on the player's screen but currently it's not actually taking in account our actual health you can see we are printing it but it's actually not changing so we need to now do that so if I select my main UI and I have got this health bar we have got this person currently hard-coded uh, but if I go under here and I choose like this bind option you can see this bind and if I click that and hit create binding that creates a function uh, and that basically opens up this graph mode here. So we were previously in designer mode, now we are in graph mode. And what this does it is create something called a function. So we have got like uh, we have been using a lot of functions. This basically creates our own function. We, you don't need to worry about how functions work right now. Uh, all you need to know is that in this graph of the uh, widget UI, you should have a functions here uh, tab here, and you can um, uh, we have got this uh, get health bar percent here. Now basically, what you need to do inside of this is you can basically uh, provide it with any return value and that value should be set so if I say 0 and if I say 1 then it's full so um, uh, in, now what we need to do is basically need to get the player's health here and use that so in order to get the player we can use the get player pawn function but this returns a pawn and in order to get the actual health we need to use well uh, our actual player class that we have got now in order to convert a pawn now a pawn is something just general and you need to convert it to a player our player so you can just go ahead and say oh uh, you can just go ahead and say cast 
to player now this basically converts it to a player object and once it has done that you can go ahead in this as, uh, and you can basically say uh, as player you can say get health and that should get the health variable of our player now once we do that uh, you can basically go ahead and divide this health by 100 because uh, uh, we need to have like between a zero and one value a percentage and then you can put plug that into this uh, return node once you do that you can see that it should basically uh, represent our actual health now so if i go in here it comes and you can see our health is decreasing with the attacks of the enemy so yeah this was pretty awesome this are pretty much it for this video we had a we have a health bar now in the next video we will add more stuff so stay tuned for that share this video with other people who like unreal engine and bye